Yeah. We're in Fresno, California. We just finished installing the Kohler faucet. This is the, hmm, don't know the name of it, the Malico. Malico touchless, so it's got the sensor on here on top, so you put your hand underneath there and off. So, you know, quite a bit going on here. They've got uh, some filtration, uh, RO system going on down here. Really uh, closed up the cabinet space. Additionally, the waistline comes in over there, and the arm is extended over to here. And so there's no way really to get in there. So to, to install things first, we just had to drop the garbage disposal. It's, you know, it makes the most sense. We didn't have to move the filtration, uh, which is great. But anyway, drop the disposal. First thing I'm gonna do is get up in here in the existing um, spout, the faucet coming from the RO system uh, had fallen apart. So we got back up in there and replaced it. This is not an adjustable item. You cannot rotate this uh, so that the lever is facing the direction you want. If you would like to do that, you will have to get underneath here. Uh, loosen up the screws and mount it uh, in a different direction, but you, you can't you can't adjust that. So leave it leave it where it's at. And then right next to it, new soap dispenser came with the Kohler faucet. It went back in that hole because as you can see, uh, if you try and mount it right next to the Kohler faucet, there's a conflict with the lever. Uh, originally, that is where the soap dispenser was with the old faucet. Uh, it was a different configuration. You had the off on the hot and cold handle was here and the spout was here. Now it's integrated into one piece. So on one piece here, sinkhole cover soap dispenser and then the existing faucet it's all tied back in we've tested it a couple of the uh the shutoff valves which are not ours uh, but especially the cold one when we turned it back on it sprayed everywhere so we got the packing nut tightened down and it's good monitor this area down here in the back all of those connections you know that shutoff valves i mean it's new new points of connection from the faucet because those supply lines are integrated so those are good but you've got a lot of connection you got the dishwasher hose you've got that copper line that goes over to your filtration uh, the shutoff valves themselves just monitored down here you know I know we like to pack things down there but I can see some some mold and whatnot down there uh, we'll dry that up and try and wipe that off but uh, monitor this you get any water down here you want to get after it right away otherwise you end up with a big problem so anyways everything looks good outside of that this installation is done